Hello, I'm Nicole and I'm a member of the Give Pulse team. Today I'm going to talk about what Give Pulse is doing to support the volunteering community during the coronavirus pandemic. Here on Give Pulse, we've taken steps to emphasize pandemic related events and virtual volunteer opportunities on our platform. We've activated an emergencies tab on our Get Involved page. Healthy volunteers can use this tab to filter their search results for events related to COVID-19, crisis support, disaster relief, and emergency and safety. Volunteers who are isolated, quarantined, or practicing physical distancing can filter to view virtual and remote opportunities. If you're looking to support local organizations monetarily during this time, you can easily search for fundraisers by filtering for event type. When searching for events on a group page, you can filter to view exclusively virtual and remote opportunities. We know that our nonprofit partners will be experiencing a lot of changes at this time, as many volunteers are unable to engage in person, and clients may be members of impacted populations. We're encouraging organizations to create events that will allow community members to volunteer remotely or safely volunteer in person. We've enhanced our create event workflows to better support these types of opportunities. Organizations that are new to Give Pulse can use our list event feature. Here you can fill out the details of your opportunity. When posting virtual and remote opportunities, you can add in a URL for a conferencing link. You can also mark the event as a response to COVID-19, which will automatically add the COVID-19 pause to your event. Any event you create will pre-fill the requirement details section with the CDC's guidelines for health and safety. If you're already the admin of a group on GivePulse, we have added similar features to the Create an Event workflow. All of this will make your event easily searchable for those looking to volunteer and assist with the coronavirus pandemic. We encourage those who are volunteering in person to be safe. Some tips for staying healthy while volunteering include keeping yourself and your workspace clean, avoiding crowds, and avoiding person-to-person -person contact. You'll find links to additional resources in the description below. If you have any additional questions about the coronavirus, we recommend checking out the Center for Disease Control and the World Health Organization websites for extensive information. If you have any questions about what GivePulse is doing to help during this pandemic, or how GivePulse can support your organization, please visit givepulse.com COVID or email covid at givepulse.com.